Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the important problem in C programming, that is Langley-Gell's problem. The classical problem in nested if-else statement is known as the Langley-Gell's problem. That is, when there is no matching else for the if statement, this Langley-Gell's problem will be created. So consider this example: if expression one. This expression will be evaluated, and if this expression is evaluated to true means, it has to execute this part. That is, if expression two and statement one. Suppose if this expression is evaluated to false means, it has to go to this else part and execute statement two. This is the actual logic of this if else statement. But here, what it will happen in the sense? If this expression is evaluated to true, it will execute this part. And here, if you are considering, if this expression is evaluated to true, means statement one will execute. Suppose if this expression is evaluated to false, means it will pair with this else statement since we have not specified the compound statement here. That is, we have not specified the true part statement within curly brace. So. If you have not specified as a compound statement, what it will happen in the sense this if expression when it is evaluated to false, it will pair with this else part. But actually, this else part statement need to be paired with this outer if statement. So when this happens in the sense that is when the inner if statement is evaluated to false. And it does not have the corresponding else statement. In that case, it may pair with the else statement that is corresponding to the outer if statement. So this is nothing but the Dangling else problem. So what is the actual solution given by the programmer in the sense? Always pair an else to the most recent unpaired if it is in the current block. But it will not work if statement being left unpaired. Like this example, so programmer need to ensure the code. So while writing the code for the nested if statement, the programmer need to ensure which if statement corresponds to the particular if statement. The programmer needs to ensure. So this is nothing but the Dangling else problem. Good programming practice is nothing but if the condition is true, only one statement we are going to execute after expression evaluation in the sense no need to specify within curly brace. If we are going to execute more than one statement, in that case we need to place these statements as a compound statement. We can avoid this Dangling else problem. Nested if statement is nothing but if statement within another if statement. That is nothing but the nested if statement. This already we have discussed. The syntax is if expression one, when this expression is evaluated to true, means these two statements has to execute. When this expression is evaluated to false, means it has to go to the else part and execute statement two. So this is the actual logic of this nested if statement. But here, what it will happen in the sense since this if statement does not have a paired else part. It may pair with this else part, which is corresponding to this outer if statement. This is nothing but the Dangling else problem. So, if you are considering this flowchart, if expression one, when this expression is evaluated to true means, it will go to this statement. That is, if expression two, when this expression is evaluated to true means, it has to execute statement one. When this expression is evaluated to false, means in that case it has to execute this else part statement. But the problem here is since this if statement does not have a paired else part, it may pair with this else part. So it will be considered like if the expression two is evaluated to false, means it will execute statement two. So the computer will consider like this. So this problem is nothing but the Dangling-Gell's problem. Then how we will provide a solution for this Dangling-Gell's problem? We can provide like this: if this expression is evaluated to true, 
it has to execute these two statements so specify these two statements as a compound statement within curly brace so in that case if this expression is evaluated to true only these two statements will execute when this expression is evaluated to false means it won't execute this statement directly it will come out of this if statement and the control will transport to the next statement even it won't execute this else part also since this expression is evaluated to true and the inside expression only evaluated to false so in that case it won't execute this else part also but when this expression is evaluated to false directly control will go to else part and execute statement two so this is the actual meaning of this nested if statement so solution to dangelingel's problem is a compound statement so we need to specify the true part statement as a compound statement so now the flow chart how it will consider in the sense if expression 1 if this expression is evaluated to true means it will go inside this true part statement and it will consider the next if statement that is if expression 2 and when this expression is evaluated to true statement 1 will execute then this expression is evaluated to false it won't execute anything control will come out of this if statement and then it will come out of the outer if statement also when this outer if statement is evaluated to false in that case it will execute statement 2 so this is the actual nested if concept so good practice is nothing but always specify the statements within curly brace when there are more than one statement if the corresponding expression is evaluated to true the alternative to traditional if statement is nothing but the ternary conditional expression and this conditional expression has three operands and two operators if you are considering there are three operands that is expression expression 1 and expression 2 and two operators that is question mark and colon or the two operators we will use in this conditional expression so each operand here will be considered as a expression and the first operator question mark separates the first two expressions and this will be an expression this expression will be evaluated when this expression is evaluated to true means expression 1 will execute when this expression is evaluated to false means expression 2 will execute so the first operator question mark separates the two first two expression and the second operator colon separates the last two expressions usually expression will be evaluated with two operands only but this is a special case in c programming that is nothing but the conditional expression which is having three operands since it is having three operands it is also called ternary operator so instead of this nested if statement we can use this conditional expression to avoid the dangelingels problem thank you for watching this video